हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द सेम सीरीज ऑफ सॉल्विंग एस क्यू एल क्वेश्चन एंड लर्निंग थ्रू सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन सो एस यू ऑल नो वी आर सॉल्विंग ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म कॉल एस क्यू एल प्रैक्टिस डॉट कॉम एंड नाउ वी आर ऑन द सिक्स क्वेश्चन सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू टेबल्स विच वी नीड टू लुक एट द सेम पेशेंट टेबल एस वी सॉ इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव न्यू टेबल कॉल्ड एज प्रोविंस नेम्स सो लेट सी वॉट इज इन दैट टेबल वी हैव प्रोविंस आई डी प्रोविंस नेम एंड ऑल्सो फॉर अ ग्लिम्स let's look to the patient's table it has the first name last name gender birth date city and it has province id here and has allergies height and weight so let's see what is the question show first name last name and the province full name of each patient so if it's o n it should be shown as ontario so let's see how to solve the question so we have to select first name last name and province name from patient's table we have to join with the provinces name table so we do left join of province name table and using so our key here is province id so we are going to match the column province id in the patient's table with the province id in the provinces name table so that we get the full province name so we use province id here let's run it and we got the output correct if you see the output you have the first name of the patient last name of the patient and you also have province name which is the full name and not the short name of the province let's see the next question show how many patients have a birth date with 2010 as the birth year so we have to do a count here since we have to show a number of total number of patients so we just do select count star as maybe we can name it as total patients and do it from patients table and here the condition is the birth year should be 2010 so we put where and here we use a function called as year what this function does is if there is a date format column it removes the year from the date format column and that can be used to compare with the year which we want actually so we use the year function and our input to this could be the birth date column and it should be equal to 2010 and so let's run it and yeah we got the query correct and the total number of patients which is the birth date 2010 is 55 and we got that count also so what we have done is we have counted the total number of patients whose birth date is in the year 2010 so let's see the next question we have to show the first name last name and height of the patients with the greatest height so we'll just put select first name comma last name comma maximum of we use the maximum function to find the maximum of height we can name it as height and it's from the patient's table so let's run it so it's very simple we got this right we found the maximum height let's see the output we got the first name last name and the height of the patient with the maximum height so let's see the next question show all columns for patients who have one of the following patient ids so we need to find out only the columns of patients which has these ids which are mentioned here so to get all the columns as you know we'll be using the select star to get all the columns and the table here will be the patient's table and the condition is where patient's id in so in is an operator which is used to find in a pool of different values so we now check if patient id is in the number of ids which are mentioned here so we put and we just copy it off and paste it here yeah so we got the query correct so what in does is it checks each patient id with the values which are present inside the brackets and if it is present in the bracket it just returns the column and other columns are left out so this used to filter based on this condition so we got the output if you see the patient ids with 145 534 879 and 1000 are only present in the output column so this is the desired output 
So let's see the next question. It is show the total number of admissions. For this question, we'll be using a new table called as the admission table and we have queried that table and here we can find the patient ID, admission date, discharge date, diagnosis and attending doctor ID. So we just need to do a select of count star from the admissions table that will give us the answer. Select count star from admissions. So we got the answer correct. The table has 5067 rows. That's the required output. So let's see the next question. Show all the columns from admissions where the patient was admitted and discharged on the same day. So we have to do a select star from admissions table and our condition is that the discharge date and admitted date are the same. So we need to do where discharge date is equal to admission date and let's run it. So we got the query correct. It's very simple. We just need to compare the discharge date and admission date and if it is the same, we just need to output the query. So we got the result here and it is like every rows has the discharge date and admission date as the same. So that's all for this video. We'll be solving more questions from easy and medium level in SQL from the same platform in the upcoming videos. So subscribe to this channel and I'll be posting more videos for SQL and other tools which are used in the data analytics domain. Thank you.